you know, honestly, it wasn't like I didn't want to in the beginning, but there was so much to deal with in my personal life and so much happening on my professional life that I was never able to find the balance. I lost a parent. Um, I, I've gained two siblings in the last four years. Um, I've had to deal with obesity. I've had to deal with success failure. I've had to deal with a lot of things. It would have been nice for my mother to know that he's doing okay. I think she would have been happy to know at 36 I've sorted a lot of my demons out. But I think for her, Ishak Zadeh would have been enough to just to know that I've brought him up well. He'll be a contemporary of mine like Varun today found stability at a slightly younger age perhaps than me. But that, that's because he's got certain little more stability in his personal life from the day he was born. I've had a little more instability. I'm an obese kid who's trying to be fit. If I just have to accept that it takes a lot longer and I have to live with it. I have to work on it even more harder. Uh, today it sounds hard to believe, but 10 years back it wasn't like I was a known quantity for being somebody's son. I was, a, I was very unknown. Um, it was 23rd October 2011, 12.45 when I gave my first shot. Yeah. It was the first day of the rest of my life. Hello everyone, this is Akash Bhattan where you are watching Bollywood Bubble and today I am sitting with a person who made me cry for the first time on seeing a film and it was also my first experience of watching a film alone so we are celebrating here 10 years of Arjun Kapoor See the good part is he's made sure that he enjoyed watching the film he didn't cry because of me yeah. and because of how bad the film was on my performance yeah. was. You liked this is This is the clarity, yeah. I, I cried because no more a spoiler alert, he dies at the end and so does Pariniti. So that was a very sad moment for me the day I realized that how much movies can move. But I'm happy that we connected with you to that extent. Eh? That yeah. means the film worked for you in a big way. And I have to start by asking like the day Arjun Kapoor decided he wanted to be an actor and he decided to work on it to the day he got that first call from YRF that he is doing Vishak Zane. I didn't get a call, I had to audition. <laughs> uh, yeah, after the audition, the acceptance call. Huh. Oh. Yeah, the hard work started much before getting the call or getting an opportunity. I know uh, today it sounds hard to believe, but 10 years back it wasn't like I was a known quantity for being somebody's son. I was, a, I was very unknown. Uh, Aj, uh, today, because of the media and social media presence, a lot of kids were born in the film industry. People are aware of them before they even uh, walk their first step. Um, I was a little away, so I had the opportunity to live a slightly normalized life where uh, uh, and the decision to become an actor made me want to lose weight. So that took three, four years. I worked on myself independently and privately. Um, and I definitely believed uh, that if I lose the weight, I can give myself a chance. I wanted to be a filmmaker, but then I decided uh, this is something that I would like to pursue. So um, the process was started first. Shanu saw my photos on Facebook, the, the casting director of IRF, she took me on board. Um, we met, she showed my photos to Adi sir, he wasn't very impressed, but he said, I don't think he can make it as a main lead. So Shanu said, okay, you lose a little more weight, work a little harder, let's do some workshops, let's do some work and let's go back to him with an audition, which we did. He was very happy with the audition because she kept the tape on throughout the audition. So she never paused. So even in between the takes, I was doing Masti and I was talking rubbish and I was doing Chichora Pan. So Adi sir actually liked the in-betweens more than the actual performance. And that's what drew me into YRF. I was supposed to do a film called Virus Divan earlier, which um, was announced yeah. thi, uh, why film ki thi. And then one day I was told, okay, come meet Habib Faisal. He's made Dodhuni Char. And Habib sir and me met. And I said, wow, this seems like a great film, Ishak Zadeh. Yeah. It was called Tevar that time. Um, I went and met Adi sir. I said, wow, it sounds damn good. He said, now go and audition. So I had to re audition after being part of YRF for Ishak Zadeh. And that took about six months. So that's where the hard work was. And this room where I'm sitting right now is where I've done some of the workshops. This room, the room next door, Upar. It's, it's been, uh, it's surreal to sit after 10 years and talk about it. But at that point in time, the hard work, the major hard work was what Habib sir put in with me and Adi sir put in with me to break Arjun and make Parma. Because I'm not from Heartland, I'm not from UP, I've not understood that life because I've not lived it. And at the age of 25, I had to live that life and understand the psyche and be the physical part. So I think that was the most hardworking part. The, the acceptance to getting a film didn't hit me only till I started working. And I said, okay, I have to do so much work in one picture because this role is a lot of work. So yeah, that, that was the big journey. But it paid off because when I saw Ishak Zade, I was like, okay, that's not Arjun Kapoor for sure, that's Parma. Yeah. And talking about that initial journey, I was just revisiting because I was revisiting that amazing video of you and Varun Dhawan 
Oh God! That, Before I became an actor, that acting school, yeah. Are, yeah. Like I just saw like how you were oh, trying. Why don't delete? Why don't they 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 delete? Um, but, but it's not something that should be out there at all. And Varun ne mujhse jhoot bola, because जैसे उसकी मैं मैं तेरा हीरो में लाई ना ना वो दिखता है स्वामी टाइप का लेकिन है बड़ा हरामी टाइप का. तो उसने बोला कि मैं हीरो में पिक्चर का और एंड में आके वो पिक्चर ले गया मुझसे. तो Varun पहले दिन से ही डायरेक्टर भी खराब था और दोस्त भी खराब. भाई लास्ट में वो देखी और एंड में आके डायरेक्टेड एंड एक्टेड में दोनों में क्रेडिट खा लिया बट ठीक है या एंड बेस्ट चीज से मारुति 800 थी लाइक सो इंटेंशनली थी वो इंटेंशनली थी और वो शॉट लेने के लिए वरुण लटक रहा था वो जो एक शॉट है जब मारुति में हम बैठे हुए हैं तो वो उसने लटक के शूट किया था हम कोई हैंडहेल्ड कैमरा तो अफोर्ड नहीं कर सकते थे और हमने इधर पीछे लोखंड वाला की गलियों में ओशी वाला की गलियों में शूट वूट किया था बट हां यार मजा आया था तभी तो तभी मी एंड अच्छा मैं क्लीन शेवन आई थिंक दैट्स द ओनली टाइम आई क्लीन शेवन In my life, in front of the camera to that degree, और वो black T-shirt पहनी हुई थी और इतनी गर्मी थी उस दिन ऐसा थोड़ी नहीं कि change कर सकते थे या कुछ कर सकते थे तो वो black T-shirt में ही पूरे दिन shooting की थी जब घर पहुंचा तो I realized कि वो black T-shirt अब आज के बाद पहन नहीं पाऊँ। इशक जादे first day coming on set, what was the experience? What was going on in your mind? वो night shooting थी मैं चोकरा चोकरा जमाने बोलो चल्ला वाला के बाद जब आके गोहर को kidnap करता हूँ उ Uh, I was already there for seven days in Lucknow waiting because Pariniti was shooting her scenes in the house and Jalla Bala Gana shoot हो रहा था। तो मैं set पे था लेकिन पहले रात को जब shoot किया तो मुझे YSD पे बिठाया। मैं तभी bike चलाना सीख रहा था। I was not fully equipped because I did not not I didn't know how to ride a bike properly। um, तो YSD चलाना थी चलानी थी और पहले shot पे director ने मुझे cameraman के साथ बिठा दिया bike पे। तो वो पीछे बैठा मेरे camera के साथ। And I thought okay picture बंद हो जाएगी अगर ये camera गिर गया तो better not get it wrong। and uh, That shot is not in the film, but that day went really well. Actually, that night went really well. It was the line. It was when I come in and I I point the gun at Pariniti and I make uh, I say Gaur chal piche tu and chipkali hut and the father gets upset and I have to ride off with the uh, Gaur. So the shoot went really well. I was quite happy with it. Um, it was 23rd October 2011, 12:45 when I get my first shot. Yeah, it was the first day of the rest of my life. Also, like. You have had a life in the limelight from the starting. It might not have been that much from the starting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. when it comes to the personal life, people judge others' relationships. Yeah. For you, it has been your relationship, your family life, your everything. Yeah. For you, it has been kind of the added up pressure. God special judge. So does it take a toll on you? At no, because I am very, very unique and very, very special. Yeah. God has given me the most <laughs> unique situations and circumstances to battle, and I love that. Yeah. Um, I hate. A lot of things that have happened in my life, and I wouldn't wish it for the world. But I'm very, very proud because my mother gave me the strength to deal with everything that comes my way, and I survived 10 years despite and because of what has happened to me. Um, I'm a very strong person. Uh, only I can destroy myself, and nobody else. I am my greatest strength and my greatest weakness on my own, and my mind is like that. Um, I, yeah, I've been through a journey which nobody. I'm, it's a very special journey, and, I, and that's what somebody asked me that. You've been able to now balance your personal and professional life. I said, you know, honestly, it wasn't like I didn't want to in the beginning, but there was so much to deal with in my personal life, and so much happening on my professional life that I was never able to find the balance. I lost a parent. Um, I I've gained two siblings in the last four years. Um, I've had to deal with obesity. I've had to deal with success failure. I've had to deal with a lot of things. Um, so a contemporary of mine like Varun today found stability at a slightly younger age, perhaps than me. But that that's because. He's got certain little more stability in his personal life from the day he was born. I've had a little more instability, and my learnings and and life have been little different. And I've had to pace myself, which is why I say I am very unique. There's nobody who's going to have a life like me. I have, <laughs> I have a, I have a very fascinating personal life and professional life uh, that's panned out for me. And I'm like I keep saying I'm God's favorite child. Not just professionally, I've seen you grown personally in front of my eyes through these ten <laughs> yeah. years. And I don't know why it gives me a sense of pride to see you where you are. Thank you. And uh, as a person 
who is just a viewer yeah. on the other side, if I feel that sense of pride, how do you feel if your mom was alive today? Would have felt to see? Oh, पता नहीं यार मैं तो I think वो तो पहली पिक्चर देख ही लेती तो खुश हो जाती बस उतना ही काफी था उनके लिए she had sacrificed so much to put me in a position where I can be independent. Um, I think the quest when you are part of this profession by being somebody's son or somebody's daughter or being known is not is about just doing well for yourself and making sure that your family is aware that you can take care of yourself. I think that's a big victory. It's like any parent wants their child, regardless whether they take over their business or they do something else, they should be okay. And it would have been nice for my mother to know that he's doing okay, and that's what parents want, na? Kiwo thik hai na? Ab zindagi bhar thik rahega. He'll be able to manage himself. Acha hoga, bura hoga. Lekin survive to kar lega na? He doesn't have to fend in front of his family for uh, financial support or for emotional support. Um, emotional chalo, fir bhi is fine to some degree, but I I think. My biggest achievement is to be financially independent. I've never taken anything from my father since I became an actor, and even before that, it was very limited to what was the necessities. My mother took care of uh, us very well. She brought us up very well. My father, as present as he could be, he was. But it's a very special thing for me to be today in a position where I can wake up and say no to a film. Yeah. I think for me, that's something that I know my mother would be proud of the fact that I'm so independent that I can afford to not go to work for a day. Or not do a film, and I think that is very empowering. एक actor की ज़िंदगी में सबसे ज़रूरी पल वही होता है जब आप choose कर सकते हो आपको कब उठ के घर से बाहर निकलना है और कितनी मेहनत करनी है और अगर आप convinced नहीं हो तो नहीं जाओगे. I think she would have been happy to know at 36 I've sorted a lot of my demons out, but I think for her इशक ज़्यादा would have been enough just to know कि I've brought him up well, he'll be okay. See, I don't, I didn't know her, I didn't know you personally at that time, not even now, but. I am sure she would have been really proud because if yeah, I was you, were I am feeling so proud. <laughs> she would have to be the thousand or. She better have been proud because she has uh, brought me up to be like this. So I am a full-on true representation yeah. of what my mother is. I live uh, to carry her forward. My sister lives to carry her forward, and that's all it is. Uh, whatever it is, at the end of the day, even the fact that if you say as an audience member, as a viewer, you feel you've seen me grow up. I have always been open and honest with my audience because that's how my mother would want me to be. I am very candid about my shortcomings, my success, my failures. I've taken it on the chin. Yeah. I've never backed out of anything. I've always stood and faced the storm, and that's how my mother was. That's that's how I am, um, because these problems uh, make you the person that you become. So if I've matured and grown up in front of you, it's because. She brought me up well enough to face everything. So, when you get a lot of praise, you keep humility. And when you get a lot of praise, you keep your head high because you didn't do anything wrong. You tried. And to try is to try. 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 And to try Kind of bad for people. Yeah, yeah. It has been like a lot. It bad. has been. It has been bad for people, and I'm sure you must have also suffered professionally and personally as well. But yeah, I got it twice, and I've seen near yeah. and dear ones yeah. fall sick, and I've 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 also felt the the financial implications as bizarre as it sounds. Everybody feels it. But your filmography has grown a lot in that COVID. Well, maybe maybe I got slightly lucky. That's yeah. You, you got to earn your luck, right? I think I worked hard enough for about seven eight years for the last two years to reflect. Abhut Police and Sandeep or Pinky Farrar yeah. and Sardar ka grandson, even at a time with theaters was shot. So yeah. Yeah, and talk about Sandeep or Pinky. Like people kind of realized and recognized the actor in you back again after. Yeah. I mean, I was doing the film for that. Uh, yeah. So I did the film. I I always wanted people to see. Two sides of me. That is, I can do, I can do Gunde, I can do Finding Fanny, I can do Mubarak, I can do Farrar. I always like to venture. Like I keep saying, I want to do all kinds of work. So Farrar just reminded people of that. I came here to be an actor. I never came here to be in the rat race to be number one or number two because वो तो बदलते रहता है. But अगर आप अच्छा काम करते हो तो कहीं ना कहीं आपको अच्छा काम मिलते रहेगा और audience का एक regard मिलेगा. Farrar was done with a very pure intent of submitting myself to the role. With a director who knows his job better than I can ever, uh, he knows that world. He knows that milieu. I worked hard on the dialect, and I was so happy. I met Nasir sir on Kutte said he came and hugged me and said he saw Farrar and he loved me in it, and that's very high praise. Uh, Kumud sir was shooting with me for Kutte said, "Yar, I have seen the film. I thought you have not lost your accent, and you have not lost it." And he's somebody who understands the 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 gravitas of, of the 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 brevity of the situation when you're playing a dialect-driven character. You have to hold on to it. 
and credit to Devakar for trusting me and taking a chance and I, and I think full credit to me for pulling it off. I said yes to a role where I have to cross dress in the climax. I don't know how many young actors would dare to do that. So I, I wanted to, I won't say prove, I just wanted to connect with the audience with my performance and at least like you said, it reminded people. Uh, who perhaps wrote off the fact that I'm hardworking enough or capable enough. And that's the luck yeah. that I've earned by working hard for seven, eight years, that that one film that you least expect sometimes comes and connects with the audience. Yeah, like it was not just you, like you, Parimini, the film. Uh, everything yeah. was written yeah. before it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And everything was revived and after. And that's why I always say I want to just engage with the audience. Because they are the truest form. It's I do not believe that, and I'm not saying media, social media, the, the, the chatter, the paraphernalia, the perception, all that ek taraf hai. Eventually, if you know your job and do a good job, it's a lot of film kafi hoti hai to remind people of your capabilities. And I have to say this, Arjun, like, I'm meeting you for the first time. Yes. But I have to say, I love the fact that you acknowledge your contribution to your career. <laughs> it's you, taken you me some said, time. Yes, you said that uh, yeah. credit to yourself for pulling it off. And yeah. I think this people forget to do. And this is very needed because if you won't realize you I, know. I am somebody who looks at the bigger picture of making a good film. So sometimes I don't credit myself enough. I think yeah. I am I'm, I'm a star in my own right. I've been able to get films greenlit and people are making films because I've said yes to them. So I do hold a certain kind of regard and power and I'm very co conscious of it. I don't misuse it ever. But I don't give myself enough credit when films do well. I never took credit for two states alone when it did 100 crores because I felt it's a team effort. That's my problem because I'm a team player or I'm selfless who thoda sa selfish nahi I don't need to showcase another side actor who is not here. I don't want to be this fake superstar when I know I'm pretty happy and content just doing good work. It comes in the way of me getting credit also sometimes because I don't give myself enough. So people also don't give themselves enough. It comes in the way of me getting credit also sometimes because I don't give myself enough. So people also don't. So that is something I'm consciously changing. I have worked bloody hard for 10 years and I've worked very, very, very single-mindedly to be part of an industry that has given me so much and I, and I would hate for anybody to feel that I'm lucky to be here. I, I've earned this right to sit here after yeah. 10 years and celebrate the fact that I've yeah. connected with the audience and survived 10 years. And I take pride that you accept that because it's very necessary to accept yeah, that. Yeah, I don't have anyone else who can talk so easily about your failures and talk so easily about your failures. And that is very inspirational also and also like talking about that like when you have had highs and lows yeah. like everyone but like when you have your lows people blame you for it but when you have your highs people credit that success to either your last name or your post name yeah. or something else. yeah which does it affect you in to some degree it did earlier uh, but i was young um today i won't say i'm affected by it i know the hidden realities and truths behind the writing also um aajkal aajkal बहुत लोग इफेक्ट के लिए चीजें करते हैं और लिखते हैं और कहते हैं तो मेनली उन चीजों को तुल देंगे तो फंस जाएंगे इट्स बेटर टू फोकस ऑन द व्हाट योर कैपेबिलिटीज आर एंड व्हाट यू नो एंड एंड इट्स गुड टू हियर दिस काइंड ऑफ रिस्पांस राइट टुडे व्हेन आई एम मीटिंग पीपल आई हैव डन अ फ्यू इंटरव्यूज आई एम मीटिंग पीपल एवरीबॉडी स्पोकन अबाउट फरार एवरीबॉडी स्पोकन अबाउट द फैक्ट दैट दे हैव एंजॉयड बूथ पुलिस सो आई नो द वर्क दैट आई एम डूइंग हैज हैज अ प्लेस इन पीपल्स माइंड्स एंड हार्ट्स इट विल गेट बेटर इट विल गेट वर्स बट द फैक्ट इज दैट व्हाट आई एम डूइंग इज रिलेवेंट एंड आई एम गुड एट व्हाट आई डू सो आई जस्ट होल्ड ऑन टू दैट yeah and i have to say like you are have to be that person in this generation the that actor who has been most scrutinized about his body yeah, yeah. in the male uh, in, in the between in the men yeah in the women actors. get it a lot more than we yeah. and but amongst the actors you have yeah. been the most scrutinized yeah. one and you have had transformation a lot of times during this <laughs> phase but this time it's sounding like mujhe thak jana chahiye abhi tak but yeah yeah but this time when i read your caption on social media ha uh -huh. It felt a different Arjun writing. And Did the, it? the last line that you added, that that including the chest hair, yeah. that was the only unrelatable part because I was able to grow it. <laughs> so that was the only unrelatable part. So that you. part I added last minute, you know, because I was like, I know that I will add this photo, people will look at this photo. Because it doesn't keep that time, 99% is good. Now if you get 90% of it, it's a big thing. I said, I accept that this is me with the chest hair included. So this time I have to do it. This time I have to do it with the chest hair included. ये कैरेक्टर के लिए बाल नहीं निकाले तो व्हाई शुड आई बी अपॉलोजेटिक अबाउट इट आई शुड ओन इट एंड आई जस्ट रोड दैट लाइन एंड पुट इट सो आई एम सॉरी दैट यू डोंट रिलेट बट आई एम शोर लॉट मोर पीपल रिलेट टू इट बट या दैट पोस्ट इज यार लिसन इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल थिंग व्हेन आई केम टू द इंडस्ट्री आई लॉस्ट द नेक्स्ट अमाउंट ऑफ वेट एंड आई वाज लुकिंग अ सर्टेन वे एंड आई प्रेजेंटेड माय सेल्फ इन इशक जादे गुंडे औरंगजेब इत्सेट्रा इत्सेट्रा इन अ सर्टेन वे ओके देन आई पुट ऑन वेट एंड आई वाज नॉट लुकिंग माय बेस्ट 
and I was aware of it, but I was not able to lose it the way I had lost it earlier. And I was working, 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 working. Audience ne sign diya tha. I mean, I samjha bhi tha. I was not able to act upon it the way I would like. I kept thinking, abhi time milega karunga. Nahi mila. Kuch film mein nahi chali. Kuch energy off ho gayi thodi si audience aur meri. But ye nahi hai ki unhone mujhe puri tarah dudkar diya ya they rejected me. It was more about the expectation that I only created by looking a certain. For the characters that I'm choosing to play, I have to look a certain way. See, in a Farrar, I can get away because it's a regular guy. But when you do, when you do certain films, you have to look a certain way on the big screen because people pay big money to watch you. I just got back to doing what I was doing earlier, and I kept at it. पहले अगर पांच महीने लगते हैं पंद्रह महीने लगे, I just have to accept that it takes a lot longer, and I have to live with it. I have to work on it even more harder. So that post came from a place of self-realization that जो चीज मैं दस साल पहले तीन महीने में कर सकता था अब मुझे पंद्रह महीने लगते हैं लेकिन मैं छोडूंगा नहीं I will always be at it because I want to make sure the audience enjoys watching me on the big screen I will never stop pursuing that purity of connection between my audience and me because they gave it to me so that connection is there it's a bit loose the, the disconnect is not there but if I don't work hard enough the disconnect will happen but the connection is still there I just have to work on rebridging that gap slightly so that post came from a place of genuine connection with my audience saying that this is me. I've had a problem and I'm working on it and I'm realistic, I'm dealing with it and I'm sure a lot of you understand everybody goes through this problem. Yeah, and I have to say like you were expecting people to kind of backlash also. On that I point. actually, I'm so used to it that I think it's going to come. Yeah, but, but, it come happen, chalo ho gaya to. but it didn't happen on that because I was uh, on my explore page on Instagram and one person had shared your photo and written this is what actual organic transformation looks like. Yeah, well, to it. I, I think like, that's what I said. Na? A lot more people would relate to me doing this yeah. uh, because they go through the same problem as I do that they're trying but it's not showing. Um, I've said in interviews mein bhi kaha hai, कुछ लोग होते हैं टाइगर जैसे जो चार बजे उठते हैं मेहनत करते हैं दे हैव अ सर्टेन फिजिकलिटी दे वर्क हार्ड ऑन इट एंड दैट्स अमेजिंग द एक्शन द डांस द वे ही लुक्स द वे ही परफॉर्म्स इनक्रेडिबल आई एम अ फैन आई लव वाचिंग व्हाट ही डज आई एम नॉट दैट आई एम एन ओबीस किड हु इज ट्राइंग टू बी फिट सो आई विल ऑलवेज हैव सर्टेन इश्यूज दैट नीड टू कैच अप सो इट केम फ्रॉम देयर ऑनेस्टली इट जस्ट केम फ्रॉम द फैक्ट दैट मैं आप जैसा ही हूं यार मैं एक्टर हूं मैं हीरो हूं मेरी लाइफ थोड़ी सी मजेदार लगती होगी लेकिन प्रॉब्लम्स हमारे एक एक पॉइंट पे ओवरलैप कर जाते हैं yeah. मेरी टी शर्ट भी टाइट होती है कुछ दिन मैं अगर वर्कआउट नहीं करता हूँ तो मेरा वजन बढ़ जाता है मैं अगर दो तीन दिन एक्स्ट्रा कुछ खा लेता हूँ तो मुझे भी प्रॉब्लम्स आती हैं मैं बिल्कुल आप जैसा हूँ लेकिन मैं मेहनत डबल करता हूँ ताकि मैं आई कैन बी प्राउड ऑफ माई सेल्फ एंड आई थिंक दैट्स वट आई वॉन्टेड टू पुट आउट एवरीबडी दैट डोंट गिव अप ऑलवेज बिलीव दैट द रिजल्ट विल शो यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट इन टेन डेज टेक द होल ईयर एंड गिव योर सेल्फ अयर एंड देन बी प्राउड ऑफ वट यू डन फॉर अ होल ईयर So, like, looking at uh, where you are right now, if you have to give an advice to the ten-year-old, 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 ten year before Arjun Kapoor, uh, who was just starting off, what advice would you have given to him? Smile more because people misinterpret your face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then that. Not that I had too many reasons to smile before Ishak Zade, but after that I should have smiled a little more, little faster, so people yeah. felt that I am a regular warm guy. But log sochte the, I am a lot darab now. और मेरा साकेजम समझते नहीं थे तो आई वुड हैव टोल्ड माय टेन ईयर ओल्ड बैक मतलब ट्वेंटी सिक्स ईयर ओल्ड की साकेजम इज नॉट एवरीबडीज कप ऑफ टी सो बी केयरफुल हाउ यू क्रैक जोक्स एंड डोंट थिंक सो मच आई यूज टू थिंक अ लॉट लेस वन आई वाज ट्वेंटी सिक्स बट आई थिंक आई स्टार्टेड ओवर थिंकिंग द मोमेंट आई बिकेम एन एक्टर सो आई थिंक आई वुड हैव एडवाइज माई सेल्फ कि इतना मत सोचो कि पागल हो जाओ एंड टेक टेक द स्मॉलर प्लेजर्स ऑफ लाइफ एंड एन्जॉय योर सक्सेस एंड डोंट बी सो हार्श ऑन योर सेल्फ बिकॉज इट्स अ लॉन्ग रोड या वट एल्स I think I was quite sorted as a 26 year old I don't need to give too much advice I think the smiling bit would have helped because the perception is that I'm angry all the time which I'm not <laughs> but thank you Arjun you don't deserve to be celebrated just for your 10 years you deserve to be celebrated every day for the artist you are thank the you. person you are That's and extra. after today I can attest to the second part it's not just for say he needs to be celebrated for the person he is and he's a gem that needs to be protected and uh, thank you so thank much you for so this much. conversation thank you. thank you so much for existing in cinema <laughs> <laughs> but thank you aise lag raha hai meri retirement ka but thank you so much arjun thank, thank you so much thank i hope you had a great time yes sir